All right, guys, it's interview time with Enzo, the project Perez. So, Enzo, I want to ask you, man, I've been meaning to ask you, what really got you into fighting, man? Like, how did that all start? How, how did it come to that point where you're like, hey, I think I want to be a fighter, you know? Um, I'm tell you, I'll explain, because everything connects. I've been fighting since I was six years old, so it's like we go way back. I'm going to tell you a little bit how I started and how that ended up being what I chose to do for a living. I was about five years old. I know I always watched these Bruce Lee movies, uh, Chuck Norris, John claude Van Damme. Like, I watched all these videos and I always wanted to be, be like them. I remember I had like VCR. I remember I had that. I would always record. I would always record, uh, what's it called? the fighting scenes of the movie like i really I, w I wouldn't even care about the actual movie story i would just watch out of all the martial art movies that you can think of back back in the day like the classics i would always watch the fighting scene and i would like i would get so into it like i remember uh i would really practice like i've, I've always practiced uh oh like i saw john claude van damme doing this kick and i would i would do that kick like i'll be around my house i was a good i was a good boy <laughs> I guess you can say so I was in the house until I was about six seven years old and I started playing in the street later but before that I would just be a uh, like like that that house kid that, that that could never come out and play so where I'm from it's really dangerous so like your parents try to protect you from being in the streets as much as possible they try and hold you in to the can no more but then you just become like this little rebellious kid that they just can't hold in hold anymore like oh I'm about to go outside and play we we'll just play marbles we wouldn't do anything like bad it's just like it's just a bad neighborhood like i'm from not from like a necessarily uh safe in, uh, environment safe area but anyways uh, yeah that's pretty much how i started uh i joined a car I, jo I joined a boxing uh a boxing school and i went to my first boxing competition i'm like i'm six years old at this point and i remember uh, i guess uh, i fought i don't remember this but my, my mom tells me this i guess i fought i messed up my nose so uh yeah, I guess I had a bloody nose or something like that. I mean, my mom took me out of box and she didn't like that. So then we tried training Taekwondo. I joined Taekwondo. I did it for about a week or two. I didn't like it. The class was too slow. It was just too slow for me. There wasn't any sparring. It, it was the fundamentals, what the coach was trying to teach. Not, nothing wrong with that, but I didn't understand that at the time because I got into martial arts for the wrong reasons. I wanted to fight. Like, I'm a, I'm a, I, want, I got into martial arts because I wanted to fight. I didn't get into it because of the positive aspect of it. Like, what do you think the, the positive aspect of it is? The positive aspect of martial art is how uh, it builds character. It prepares you for anything that life throws at you. Because uh, there's nothing more pure, I feel like, that hand-to-hand -hand combat, one human against another human. I feel like there's no no more, like, no experience that's more pure than that. Like, that's, that's just as primal. That's the word I should say. That's just as primal as, as it gets. Like, that's something that... Like before we had any reasoning, that's something that we were doing, like we were fighting. Do you get some type of thrill from that? You know, going out there and competing? How do you, how do you, how do you describe that feeling of when you're about to compete? When you're um, about to go well, out there into the ring? When I, at first, right before I was gonna compete, I was really nervous. Cause I was like, I, I, I wasn't confident enough. I, I just didn't know it. I just wasn't not confident. I wasn't experienced enough to know what the outcome might be. So the fact that I didn't know like, all right, I'm either gonna lose or I'm either going to uh, win. Like, I didn't know that it came down to that back then, that I didn't have to stress. I've had so many experiences in combat now, that now when I approach it, I'm like, all right, there's only two things that, is gonna, that, is, that are gonna happen here. I'm either gonna win, or I'm either gonna lose, and I'm gonna have, have to go back to the gym and learn. I'm not being pessimist, I'm being a, uh, I'm being a realist. You know, that's, that's the only outcome. So, thinking about it that way, I get to relax a lot more, and actually focus on my technique on my game i don't worry about oh what what if i lose like oh what if i win like oh like what's gonna happen no i worry more about all right this is what i've been training so i'm gonna i'm gonna focus on this i'm gonna try and do this because so what, what i've been training i know I, I know how my body's gonna react when i want mm -hmm. to do this so this is what i'm gonna try to do so that's how i that's how i approach fighting now like i don't even think about it as a fight i think about it like just like a chess game uh, jiu Jitsu actually helped me with that. Before I before I focused in, in Jiu Jitsu, I was I was still like just had like like that animal mindset, like oh I just wanna go out there and hurt people. Like now I'm like I'm thinking more, like now I'm actually I'm analyzing, I'm 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 planning and I'm following the strategy and I feel like that's what's gonna make me a, a world champion. I truly believe that. That's Is that what you think separates me. people apart, apart from being a regular? Yes. And a definitely. professional. What definitely. would you call that? Like uh setting your moves up, like 
Um, you know no, I, mean? I call it I call it the ability to stay calm during chaos. The ability because it gives you that like that extra half a second and you can just see like what's coming. You know, you can go into like autopilot mode where you're just like reacting, you just doing muscle memory, but it says right there I'm using muscle. I'm not using my mind. Or I can actually be thinking, I can actually be moving, I can actually be using angles, I can actually be uh focusing on my technique, like instead of just reacting to instinct. Like I feel like that's what that's that's what can get you in trouble. Oh my god. That's what's gonna get you in trouble. But um yeah. Sorry, I got distracted. It's a really a dog that I really like. His name's Mikey. <laughs> but anyways, um yeah, and uh I feel like after high school, I wrestle in high school. See I go it's it's, it's too much. So like um it's too much. But I wrestled back in high school and uh I wanted to wrestle in college, go to the Olympics, and then I wanted to do MMA after. So the goal, the ending goal was always MMA. Um, I really didn't like the idea of uh, of being in college and not having money. As funny as that sounds, as funny as that sounds, I didn't like the I, did, I didn't like that idea. I know education should be first. That's what they say, anyways. Um, I feel like I'm also proving that that's not necessarily true. That going to college, even though it's the best, it's one of the, it's one of the best options. It's not the only way that you can succeed, and that's what they try to teach you at school. And I feel like they could do a better job if they like were more. They were if they were more 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 if they inform better, because the way they say it at school is, oh, you go to college and you succeed, or you don't go to college and you fail at life. That is not true. You can still follow your passion. You can still follow whatever it is that you do. Either it is fighting, either it is music, either it is art. All these things that you don't, people think like, oh, you're not gonna make it. Nah, I feel like if you put the same amount of time and effort that you put into college, into that, I feel like you're gonna be just as successful. Why not? If the only thing that you need to complete a certain goal is effort, discipline, and hard work, then does, then does the objective really matter? Like, think about that for a second. Okay, I wanna be a track runner. So I have to put this this amount of time into running, into my diet, into this. I have to be a fighter. I have to focus on the same thing. Like, I have to run, I have to focus on my diet, and I have to focus on my training. Like, I, at the end, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be like a really good top athlete because I've, I've been dedicating my life to this. I've been doing all these things. So if you think about it, like, you have to put the same amount of effort into everything. So if you go, if I was gonna be successful going to college, why shouldn't I think that I'm gonna be successful being a fighter? So that's just an example. I'm not knocking school. I personally admire people that go to school because I know how hard it is. So I actually I personally look up to people that go and get an education, people that dedicate themselves to eight years of, of, of college, you know, to uh, to obtain certain degree, either it's doctorate or whatever it is. Like I really look up to people like that. But not everybody is made for that. You know, I, there's this picture on their internet that I really like. There is a tree, and there is a fish, there is a monkey, and there is an elephant. Who do you think is going to be able to climb that tree? The monkey. Alright, just because the fish and the elephant can climb the tree, that doesn't make him better. That doesn't make him better. It's just like the fish is better in the water. So it's just like in school. Just because you're in a desk, you know, doesn't mean that everybody is going to understand the class the same way. Not everybody is going to be... Math is not going to come as easy to everybody. You know, some people, science is going to come easier. Some people, math is going to come easier. Everybody's mind works different. And at school, they expect or they push you. We can look at it as a positive thing. They push you to, like, everybody has to, like, be good at one topic. I feel like that, that, that makes your mind work, expands your mind, and it makes you mentally uh, stronger. But at the same time, like not everybody has the same abilities. Not everybody's as good. Not everybody can run as fast as me. I'm not as strong as, as somebody else is. That doesn't make that person better than me. That doesn't make me better than that person. We're simply good at different things. And I feel like the human body probably or, or humans, are, 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 uh, or humans are, are, as one, I feel like we, we have no, no limits. You get good at what you put time into. So if you want to become faster, you work on speed. Yeah. But also, if you want, if you have a weakness, it's not really a weakness. It's just something that you haven't, something that you haven't put as much time into. So it's not really a weakness. It's just something that you haven't put as much time into. You can make your weaknesses your strength. 
and that's that's something that as a fighter you should really focus on because at the end of it you're just gonna become like a complete beast like you're gonna be good at everything you're gonna be good at throwing punches you're gonna be good at kicking you're gonna be your cardio is gonna be good like I don't know let's let's talk about a popular fighter right now McGregor people say oh He's not a complete fighter because his cardio is not that good. I don't look at it that way. I look at it as he should go back to the gym. And if he's putting two hours a week into cardio, it's just an example, he should be putting five hours. Like that's literally as easy as it is. That's all you have to do to like target your weaknesses and make them into a strength. Like if he's putting more time into cardio, he's gonna be better, you know? Find out the skill that you're best at and give it 10% less effort and put that 10% into the skill that you're worse at. You know, that's gonna help you. You're still progressing in everything, but target the, the skill that you have to, that you need the most, the most work on so you can level it up with everything else. And like I said, the end outcome of that is be becoming a best athlete, uh, the best doctor, the best bodybuilder, like whatever the case might be. So uh, I'm sorry, but I got off topic. Talking about how it shows fighting into a career, yeah, after college, like the 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 end, the end goal was going to be to fight anyway. I wanted to wrestle in college. I wanted to wrestle in the Olympics, and then I wanted to fight. I was like, I can either go to college, be an 18-year-old uh, broke college student, or I can be, I can make a living from fighting, 18 years old, which is what I'm gonna end up doing anyway. So it's kind of of a head start. Uh, my style of wrestling is uh, taking people down. Like I'm good at the, I'm good on my feet. And I feel like that's the most relevant, that's actually what I'm good at in wrestling. I feel like that's what's most relevant in, in the MMA fight. There's a lot of things in, in wrestling that are not necessarily practical in an MMA fight. I feel like what I got good at wrestling, everybody got good at something. One, people, one person got good at riding legs, one person got good at getting standing up, one person got good at takedowns and, def and defense. That's what I got good at. So I feel like that's what was, was uh, most relevant when it comes to an MMA fight, you know, the, the only one of the few things that you want to use from wrestling is the, the takedown aspect of it and the defense. So I feel like I already had that. So I just progressed in that as I was getting paid and, and, and as I'm fighting. So I just thought of it as a, as a head start into my, uh, into my goal. Like I, I just thought about it this way. What do I want to be? Do I want to be a wrestler or do I want to be a fighter? I was like, I want to be a fighter, MMA fighter in this case. So I already took care of wrestling. Let me handle all these, all these other skills, get good at them. And that's how I'm going to become a complete fighter uh, to the point where I can be uh, all these guys that are fighting on TV where it's the point where we're getting to right now. I'm looking at people. I'm not looking at, at them like I used to look at them before. Like now I see the weaknesses in them. Now I truly feel confident to compete against them. Why? Because I've been putting in work since I was 16 years old, since I was younger. But I've been putting in all this work that's adding up. My body's maturing more now and everything is just like feeling more natural. I truly feel like now like it's just time like i look at people fighting on tv and somebody else that's not a strain they might be like wow that's impossible but i'm like nah like i can throw that punch better or oh, i like how he threw that kick i can work on that so it's like his or better so it's just things like that but um yeah it's just the motivation uh from coming from a low income family low like i said i'm come from a really poor place really dangerous place and it's never really i've never really been like that comfortable economically i haven't been bad but i've never really been that comfortable and uh, I just want that, it's just, it's part of my motivation. Like money, like money is not my only reason, but realistically speaking, it's one of the reasons. Like I want, I want to give my, like my mom a better life. I want to give my little brother a better life. I want to give my family back home, my neighborhood. Like I would love to one day have enough money to where I come back to my neighborhood and like fix like the, the, the house down the street from my house that's like falling into pieces, you know? I'm not ashamed to saying these things. Like I'm proud of it because it's where I come from. It's uh, how I grew up and it's what made me the person, the man I am today. But um, yeah, it's just pretty much like economic issues helped me uh, like put, made me want to be a fighter. Also like the passion that we talked about from when I was five, six years old. Like I've always just been into martial arts and I just, it's just stuck with it. Like I just never stop. Like normally like everybody when they're five, six years old, everybody tries karate, everybody tries something, then they quit. Then they go into football, then they go into soccer. I just didn't stop. Like I joined karate when I was a little kid and I just never stopped, just kept going. Never right. stopped and started training okay. other martial arts and uh, that's good, man. yeah. But um, yeah, that's I got a little bit of topic, but there you go. You guys gotta get to know a little bit more of me. Um, let's cut this. <laughs> <laughs>